Hi guys, this is the second Virtual Studio um, peak, and I am uh, very close, I would say, oh, 10 to 15 hours away from finishing these pieces, um, hopefully the next couple of days. I'm having to finalize uh, lines and um, a lot of color in the background with negative space. And so I wanted to go ahead and just point out what, what that is uh, as I talk through it here. So all the balance is done for this first piece. Um, it's a matter of getting the dry brush method accurate and balanced and smooth between the two colors uh, that are interacting with each other. I did run into a snag on this piece where uh, anything I'm pointing out here, uh, I'm basically looking at, at errors that need to be corrected. Um, where where uh, the, the, the issue I ran into here was that the uh, Dalaride Yellow that I'm using, um, or Daralide Yellow that I'm using, uh, instead of Titanium White in the past or Black, as negative space uh, is less opaque, and therefore, such as here where I had a mess up in the uh, gray um, thorn here, and I had to recoat with titanium white a couple of times in between yellow while at the same time not uh, increasing my surface. Uh, I didn't want any surface, uh, any surface uh, raising going on. So I got away with that. That was good. Uh, there's still a little bit more yellow to be put on around here. And you can see down here where the orange is essentially, there's just a little bit more fill in. The right side is too high. Uh, it needs to be brought down uh, more. There's an edge in the corner here, the crease. There's just some fine-tuning to do with the orange. Not too bad. Um, the blue was quite a task, uh, but uh, has worked out well in the end. And now it's a matter of any white areas you see around that gray, too, should be covered up with yellow. And um, so more work to do, but I would put this right around 10 to to 15 hours, uh, no more than that, and it will be finalized. So for the second piece, you can see right off the bat that there's more splotch on the blue um, that needs to be further flattened, if you will. Um, there's a little bit more to do on this piece. I would say, again, um, probably 15 to 20 hours. On this piece uh, and uh, but it's turned out well the, the red I used um, worked well with the yellow uh, in this case I had a mixed green uh, you can see the line work here a lot of line work needed there there's not even balanced up top uh, completely a lot of line work uh, just a lot of dry brushing repetitive quick dry brushing, uh, whether it's using the green or the blue, um, to blend the lines and have them balanced at the same time. There's a lot of fill-in left on the green. Uh, you can see the, the gaps there. And again, more surface area needed for the blue, some points there on the green. The yellow was probably the most difficult color on the piece, just being the type of yellow used, some primary yellow, um, some uh, Hansa yellow opaque, and uh, some, some, some white, along with all these paints had uh, a matte um, gel uh, used for the mix, uh, all the paints mixed in cups, um, and uh, this, mm, that's, that's how all this is stated, I've basically got about 20 cups that just uh, seal really well and keep the mixed paint um, there for a couple months, you know, maybe three, but you're pushing it. Um, so this is the second piece. Uh, the studio has not changed much. Uh, I agree the lighting is, is, is much to be desired for with lighting in the studio. That's, I used to have a whole floor to myself and a house, but uh, I am currently in one small room. Um, working on changing that but for right now the studio stays the same way uh, uh, basically until a carriage house is built possibly but 
Um, second work, yeah, it's it's close to being done, and it's a matter of lines now, and just lines and diligence and surface uh, quality with the with the negative space and everything in between there uh, on the shapes. So um, that is for the most part uh, the current works, and within uh, a few days they should be uh, knocked out. So thank you.